please welcome Bernice Dapa and Megan Smith. There you go. Hi, everybody. Hi. We have a surprise for you. We're going to tell you about this beautiful bike and about Bernice and about her amazing company. Um, come on and sit with me. Okay. So. Um, one of the partnerships that I've had for all these years, as you know, with Dylan is bringing amazing innovators and STEM entrepreneurs and tech entrepreneurs and others forward because women do this. Uh, so Bernice and I met because of the United Nations Solution Summit, which is a program that our Shift 7 team architected with the UN and other partners. And it's really a scout and scale when you're trying to fix something in the world. Instead of what should we do about it, you can look up and say, I wonder who's already doing something about this. And so we asked who was already solving the sustainable development goals, and, uh, which are these global goals we have for climate and inclusion and infrastructure and gender equality and education. And that's how I met Bernice. She came through this amazing open participatory process. And uh, one thing I'd share, because we also, Dylan's you know, not done and uh, this idea of the 100 years since uh, the vote um, for women, but many, many decades later for everybody. Susan B. Anthony once said that the bicycle did more for women's emancipation than anything. So I want you to reflect on the bicycle and Bernice's genius innovations with this in initiative, the Ghana Bamboo Bicycle Company and EcoRide, which is their brand, and what she's doing and what we could all do to get going. So Bernice, tell us about this. Thank you very much for having me. And they me. have some images, yeah. Yeah, um, my name is Bernice. I'm the founder of Ghana Bamboo Bikes Initiative. And Ghana Bamboo Bikes Initiative is an initiative where we use our own grown bamboo to manufacture bicycles instead of steel. We grow our own bamboo. As you can see, bamboo is a miracle plant, I could say because it grows so fast, and it absorbs carbon. The good thing is, we also cultivate our own bamboo by engaging farmers. Some of them are women. They cultivate the bamboo. They are in our nursery. And when we harvest one bamboo for production, we plant 10 or more bamboo in addition to reduce emissions. We love the idea of this initiative, creating employment for women and youth in our country. You can see some of the women doing the amazing thing in our company. Most, the people that we have trained, most of them are women, and they are earning a living out of it, getting, taking care of their family. We could see the beautiful designs that they are doing. We're not just doing the bikes, we also do nice, nice designs, do custom made bikes and others. Some of the bikes, we also use refurbished parts to do the handles, which we have another technology very soon. We're going to make it almost 90% of the bike bamboo. And I like the idea of our policy. When we sell 10 bikes, we donate one bike for a child in age. Because some of the students, they work two, three hours before they can go to school, which is really affecting the academic performances. You can imagine if every day a child is able to save at least two hours to sit on a book. So this is one of the projects that we really like doing because we really want to encourage more young ladies and guys to go to school. Yeah, basically that's what we it's do. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. So, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about like motivation, like how did you start? And there's a couple origin stories that you shared with me. The one is from very when you were younger, you know, like these kids that we're looking at. Tell me a little bit about what happened with you and going to school. Uh, actually, I live with my grandpa, who is a forester, and where we're staying, we have to work three and a half hours every day before I can go to school. Three and a half hours. Yes. So when I got this, my grandpa later bought me a bike, which I used to take it to school with my siblings. And sometimes it, it will be broken and we have to take care of it alongside. So when I got to, I wanted, I finished my senior high and I wanted to go to university. I think I was at home for a while before I was able to get the opportunity to go to school. 
And um, we volunteered for a lot of in organizations, and I came to know that I can use bamboo to mm. manufacture bicycles. Because I'm very familiar with bamboo and trees because I live with my grandpa in the bush, so I'm very familiar. So when we started this initiative, the good thing is I look back and I say, wow, when I was young, I used to walk miles before I can go to school. And sometimes when I get to school, I'm late and I have to be punished. So why don't we donate bikes for students to also encourage them to study and they can have enough time to be on books? And we realized that uh, most of them is their challenge. And I also face that challenge. That's why we're donating bikes for school kids. Yeah, so this is uh, an amazing business. You guys are already have sold 3,000, yeah. over 3,000 bikes. Every bike you're making, yeah. you're selling. Um, there's also a map, I think, in the images that we can bring up that uh, just in terms of the donations yeah. themselves, all around Ghana, uh, young people are enjoying this. Sure. Um, today, the product line is broad. Uh, one thing we wanted to share is from this meeting, yeah. uh, how you all might be able to get involved. This is from the UN Solution Summit. The idea, again, is scout for who's already fixing things and help them. You know, this is a Silicon Valley principle, but neither, they're not the only people with all the good ideas. So uh, we can find people anywhere with genius ideas and help them. And even in this image here, you see Bernice, of course, is presenting at the United Nations. There's others on the stage, and these people are coaches, mentors, people who can support her. Some are from Africa and business leaders, uh, Mo. Uh, others have bicycle experience or are from academia and Harvard. And so this idea of all of us as a community that lift the innovators, yeah. very important part. And you guys, of course, have folks working with the government and others. Yeah. I wanted to talk about the business itself. So there's broad product lines. Say a little bit about some of the different products. Yes. So for now, we into different type of bicycles. We have the road bike, the mountain bike, the city bikes. And we even do custom-made bikes. We have the female bike and we have the male bike. We also have the kid bikes. So for now, what we're doing is we're looking at how we can get um, supply chain distributors, mm -hmm. people who can also help us sell our bikes across the globe, um, because we're looking at how we can train more people, train mm -hmm. more women on board. So far, we've trained quite a number of women and youths, and mm -hmm. we're going to do more in the near future for the next five years. We're looking at how we can get at least 250 people on board. Mm -hmm. And another thing is we're looking at increasing the number of women, because the women are very good in terms of artistic, they do the good finishing. So we're looking at partners who can also come on board, like NGOs. Mm -hmm. We want to build a childcare facility, because we don't want the maternity to be a hindrance for any woman in our industry, which is one of our challenges. So we're building up a maternity center for the women we work with. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at partners, NGOs, um, investors who can come on board to be part of our business so that we can do more in the near future. Yeah, and one of the things interesting is probably anyone in the room, if this is exciting to you, think about how to get involved. I love that uh, some of the grant makers and companies and others can give money to help support, because you subsidize, you provide a discounted version for folks who want to buy for the yeah, yeah. young people. You can do the supply chain, other things there. Yeah which so, is terrific. Yeah, so another thing is we also, apart from we donating the bikes when we sell 10 bikes, we donate one bike for a child in it. Uh, we also partner with um, NGOs and other development agencies to reduce the cost of the bikes for them so that we can buy more bikes. They can buy more bikes and um, donate for school kids because we have a plan of donating 10,000 bicycles in the next five years for school kids. Okay. So this is one of our main projects we want to do now. So we, our arms are open for I mean, partners to come on board to implement this project in Ghana. Terrific. Yeah. Um, so we have a surprise uh, that we want to get to. Um, and uh, I just wanted to share that we also have a fun thing in common. My mother started the Bicycle Club for Western New York, which is called the Niagara Frontier Bicycle Club in sort of Western New York, Niagara Falls, and also did a lot of work on policy, bike ways for Buffalo in the 70s when uh, people told her that bikes were a toy, you know, and they weren't serious. But she knew, like you, you know, this is not done yet. So I feel really uh, honored to be with Bernice 
uh, build, with her building the legacy that my mom, Susan, all of us had of thinking of this as a transportation solution, as a health and wellness solution, as you talk about, as an economic empowerment solution, as a youth employment solution, as a joyful solution, and maybe, just maybe, in the maker movement, in addition to this whole robot obsession, we could actually make bikes at school like as part of our coursework and, uh, and do that all together. OK, so what's our exciting thing? Come on, we have something <laughs> fun to share about the bike. OK, Bernice, what are we doing? So, what's going to happen now? Um, I think this bike is actually going to be donated to one of our beautiful audience here. So, <laughs> I think it's part of our signature. Wherever we go, we try to leave a mark, and we believe in the law of karma, whatever you give out. So, can you look at under your seat? Under one your of seat. you, there is Reach something under your seat. Under your seat. Someone Never. in this room <laughs> has something. If you don't have an under your seat, you can email. There is a paper if, uh, under you. One of somebody, the seats. Anybody? <laughs> There's a piece of paper. Okay, we're looking. We're looking. Ah, uh, something. Anybody? Hold it up. All right, and then we got to get off stage. But if anybody is in trouble, yeah. So, okay, so Martha's taking on this beautiful bike. If you want to buy bikes, have our there's bike, email address. And, uh, if you want to help, Bernice is here. Thank you. Uh, get involved. This is really exciting. These beautiful well, bikes meet can, us on the back of the can stage, sequester and this carbon. Bike is going to be, be good for you. For a living we planet. need a feedback from you how the bike is and how you are enjoying it. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Come on, guys.